Hello everybody and Happy New Year! So, if you're wondering what this is, this is my bug hotel. Now, I haven't put any bugs in Mr. Jinx's terrarium since October the 22nd. And now he's in brumation, he hasn't fed for a while. Leopard geckos metabolism slow right down so they don't need feeding. Um throughout the brumation period really they uh, survive from their fat reserves in their tail anyway so whilst i was having a look in here just to see what was in here i wanted to get some mulch for my plants in the terrarium now this is an old uh, snake plant that i used to have as a house plant and I just decided to put in here as fodder for the insects. Um, now I don't know if you remember, but in November I cut back a lot of uh, plants in the terrarium and put the leftovers in here for the bugs to feed on. And I don't know if you can notice, but there's a lot. So after about two months, we can see that, I mean, apart from this snake plant, which has been here a while, um, but a lot of the debris, look how it's broken down. And we can even see, I've even spotted springtails. So if I just grab this, we can see there's still a lot of mealworms down there. But if we look under here, look, look at the springtails. And there's also isopods in here. And there we go. There's a couple of dairy cows lurking around. So, not only am I using this soil, which has been broken down over time. I mean, I've not even watered it. I've just literally left it since I foraged the last few bugs for feeding in late October before brumation or shall we say hibernation i'll talk a bit a bit a little bit more about hibernation and brumation this weekend but uh but yeah so over time after just doing nothing just letting the bugs do their thing the soil has broken down and the leaf litter that i put in there from the cuttings from the plants has slowly composted down and this organic matter will be great for the plants as a mulch over the winter time to give them some um, protection from the cold a little bit and also um, just retain some water some, some moisture because they don't need that much water at this time of year because they kind of go dormant but look how wonderful that soil is looking um it's all kind of nice and fluffy and in that soil there'll be isopods well there'll be springtails at least in this soil oh yeah there's a little tiny isopod there so, and there's even mealworms, so when he does come out of hibernation, there's a little bit of food source here for him to snack on until I get him some crickets and dubias and whatnot. So I'm going to, oh there we go, there's another ice pod. So I'm going to pop this now into the tank, get a little bit more actually. And it feels so nice to the touch as well. I love putting my hands in soil. One of the reasons why I love gardening. So this is a bit of indoor gardening, folks. Terrarium gardening. Terrarium winter maintenance. Mulch, mulch, mulch. Okay. So I'm going to use this around my wormwood. Because since... 
dipping the light in in December and January. So the temperatures have gone right down. It's about, what is it? I think it's about 21, 22 on the warm side and about 18 on the cool side in the daytime. And at night time, it drops to about 14 or even 15 for January this time of year. So this is my wormwood and this is my helianthemum. The rest of the plants, I might actually put a bit of mulch around here, at this asparagus fern. And a little bit around that carex grass. So I'm literally just going to tip a little bit in. And then this will uh, add as a nice bit of it will protect the root base I mean this isn't going to get frost obviously because it's not going to cool down that much but it will just give it a bit of extra protection a little bit of nutrients and retain some of the moisture so a little bit more behind so yeah winter time is a good time to mulch your plants wormwoods in particular they're sensitive they need a lot of care and they can sense the slightest bit of overwatering or lack of light. So they need a bit of care, especially before they're fully established. So you can see that I've just put some mulch around there, like that. So I'm going to do the same with my asparagus fern, just a little bit around the base, actually I'll do it with uh, with this helianthemum in here first, so I'm just in the area, just put a bit on top like that, and then tickle the leaves so that the mulch fizzles down to the base. And these plants are tough little plants once established, but they do need a bit of care before they fully establish. So we'll, you can see all the isopods crawling out of there and that'll also be full of springtails. And one of the jobs of springtails is they feed on bacteria, so if there's any kind of parasitic bacteria in there, they'll feed on it. But there won't really be anything dangerous because it's been breaking down in there for two or three months at least. So it's completely organic. So a little bit more mulch around this asparagus fern and then that'll do, literally. That is all there is to it really. So the, so I suppose we could call this compost really. So it's a bit of broken down matter leftover stuff from, I don't know, plants and bits of leftover soil from Bug Hotel activity. So you can see now I'm putting this mulch around that plant base so that will hold some of the moisture in a little bit more. And 
offer a bit of a base for the water to sort of seep through slowly into the main soil base underneath and it'll just give the plant a little bit of extra protection over the winter and that is basically all there is to it guys I'm going to give this Carex a little bit as well um, put a little bit at the back of the Carex there so I can't see very well because it's dark but Basically what I'm doing is just putting a bit of that mulch around the Carex grass in the back. And that's basically it. So there we go. A little lesson on mulching. And why is it important to mulch? Protection in the winter. Water retention. Um, extra bit of food. And the springtails and isopods in that soil as well. And it, the aim is to basically keep the plants happy. So there we are. These guys, I don't really need to mulch because these guys are very, very drought tolerant. They can go months and months without water and still be happy. So I don't need to worry about them too much. These guys, because they're sort of fairly new... Well, in the autumn, I put them in. They need a little bit more care and attention before they're fully established. This one, in, in particular, the Artemisia schmidtiana, is quite sensitive. Um, so the slightest bit of overwatering can make it die back and difficult to grow back. So I need to be extra careful with that one. Okay, so there we are, guys. Mulch, mulch, and more mulch. You can never do enough mulching in the winter. Over and out.